Welcome to Chandwell. My name's Michael and I'm building the back of a commercial street for behind my station. I've finished number 19 Market Street by adding a deep dingy yard and a chimney. In this short episode I'll show how I made these elements. Watch to the end of the video for a sneak peek at something truly awful that may be coming to Chandwell. I modelled this building to have a deep yard. It sits at track level behind the retaining wall, so building a yard should just be a case of walling it in and adding some steps. As usual, I drew a few shapes in Inkscape and printed them to sticky label. Once stuck to card and cut out, I roughly arranged them to check how it would look. When I need to make a double sided wall, I make the texture in Inkscape using Scale Scenes textures. I put two textures back to back, one upside down. Then I place a capping texture along the join. This means that when it's folded around the 1mm card, both sides are the right way up and the cap runs along the top of the wall. I fold one side around the edge. I cut the overlap from the other side and wrap the resulting piece across the rest of the wall. This leaves a tiny bit of exposed paper edge, but running a grey watercolour pencil along it before folding makes it disappear from view. I made a simple staircase using a stack of 1mm card in a scale model scenery right angle jig. It wasn't until I moved the staircase to the layout and dropped it in place that I noticed that they would be completely invisible. Hidden by the wall and being right at the back of the layout means that unless you lean right over you'd never even know they were there. I made a wall of the correct shape to enclose the stairs and glued this in place with PVA. I didn't bother with the texture on the back of this one. Since the yard is bigger than I was expecting and since I'm not using the steps, I decided to make the staircase gap wider than I was going to. I fettled a piece of half millimeter card until it was the right shape to fit between the yard wall and the retaining wall. At this point I realised that with the wider gap between the steps and the wall, it now looks like the ground stops and there's a sheer drop to the yard floor. Time for surgery to the steps. I cut the stack in half and then glued two pieces side by side to make the top of a wider staircase. I glued this to the ground. In place, it now looks like there is a set of steps that leads down to the yard floor. You can't see that it only goes halfway. I painted them a simple stone colour. I used cobblestone sets texture, and then a tarmac texture with the edges coloured in watercolour pencil on top. The component then just dropped into place with PVA glue onto the retaining wall ribs that were already there. A few weeds finished the effect. Chimneys are really easy to make. I glue a stack of five pieces of one millimetre card to make up the chimney stack. I remove any roughness with a nail file. I use a scored piece of texture to help me accurately position the stack in the wrap and get crisp edges. The wrap is glued around the stack with PVA glue, and then just dropped into place on the roof. Making the top of the chimney involves wrapping two rectangles of card, one slightly smaller than the other. I glue the rectangle of card onto a rectangle of texture. I cut away the corners, leaving four flaps that can be wrapped around the card. I use a brown pen to colour the white paper edges. Score the edges with the back of my scalpel. Then using a tiny bit of PVA, I tightly fold the edge around the card, and then trim off the excess with the scalpel. This leaves a neat rectangle without any overlapping paper on the bottom. I use PVA to drop the smaller rectangle onto the chimney stack, and then the larger rectangle on top of that. I chop a cocktail stick into 4mm lengths and then I sand them so that they have a flat edge. These are stuck to the top of the chimney with PVA and then painted a terracotta colour. I use a spot of black paint on the top and this gives a surprisingly good impression of the pots being hollow.
this is the old Fluid Nightclub in Shipley. Is this the ugliest building you've ever seen? I'm considering making it for Market Street. Some architectural abomination inserted into the street to replace a building damaged by fire, perhaps. I've been discussing this with the members of my channel. Mark thinks that the building is beyond ugly, and that modelling it will affect my soul and outlook of life in a negative way. It could be the beginning of my unravelling. I do agree it's awful, Mark, but in the interests of Chandwell, it's a risk I'm willing to take. It may not actually work on Market Street, but building it will be fun. It can always be moved to a different location if it doesn't suit. And if you thought my own photo was bad, have a look at what it was like in 2008. So join me next time and we'll see how this goes. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.